What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. NHL 21 is finally here and with that we will be doing a career sim video, this time with two players at once. A few things before we get into this video, the reason why I'm not starting the career sims with guys like Alexi Lafreniere, Quinton Byfield, or Tim Stutzel is because free agency still hasn't happened as I'm recording this and I don't want to do those players until the rosters heading into the regular season are mostly made up. Obviously with that being said, take this video with a grain of salt because clearly this isn't going to be the same as the Hurricanes opening night roster in real life for this season, but I wanted to get a career sim video out and this is a video I tried to do over the summer but I didn't get the chance to do after having my surgery. Also this video is kind of just a test to see how the sim engine for NHL 21 is. Like always throughout this video we will be simulating year by year here on NHL 21 and having it so that the CPU controls everything and seeing how the sim engine predicts these two players careers will unfold. Once again today's video will be on two of the Carolina Hurricanes young forwards Andrei Svechnikov and Martin Natchez. Martin Natchez was drafted one year before Andre Svechnikov at 12th overall in the 2017 NHL entry draft, and this past season saw him make the full-time roster. In the 64 games he played in this year, he scored 16 goals and 20 assists for 36 points in his rookie year. In the bubble, he sued up for eight postseason games, and in them scored a goal and three assists for four points. Andre Svechnikov was drafted the next year at second overall in 2018 and made his impact immediately with the Carolina Hurricanes. Svechnikov has had a spot on the Hurricanes lineup since day one, and so far in 150 NHL games has scored 44 goals and 54 assists for 98 career point so far. He had an unbelievable postseason prior to his injury in the first round, and in the six games he did get to play in, he scored four goals and three assists for seven points. Clearly the future is Brighton Raleigh, so with that, today we will be following these players year by year, checking in on their stats, as well as if they win any awards. Now with all this being said, let's see how these guys are looking heading into year number one of this simulation. So heading into year number one, obviously Andrei Svechnikov and Martin Natchez are both up with the Carolina Hurricanes. Andrei Svechnikov is starting off on the first line at right wing, playing alongside Sebastian Ajo and Tivu Taravainen. Svechnikov is 86 overall with medium elite potential. His stats to start off are very good and consist of 92 shot power, 92 offensive awareness, and 89 passing. Martin Natchez is starting off on the third line at center, playing between veterans Jordan Stahl and Justin Williams. Natchez is starting off at 83 overall with medium elite potential, and his current role is listed as a second line forward. His stats to start off include 88 speed, 87 offensive awareness, 87 passing, and 87 puck control. Not bad at all, and now let's get into year number one of the sim. In year number one, the Carolina Hurricanes ended up finishing 15th in the NHL and qualified for the Stanley Cup playoffs. In this world, the Hurricanes in the playoffs do end up going all the way to the finals and winning them in a four-game sweep over the Calgary Flames. In the regular season, Andrei Svechnikov led the two in points after scoring 37 goals and 31 assists for 68 points. Martin Natchez also had a decent season, this one seeing him score 18 goals and 27 assists for 45 points. In the playoffs, Andrei Svechnikov went off scoring 7 goals and 17 assists for 24 points in 21 games, and this was enough to bring home the Conn Smythe Trophy. Martin Natchez, on the other hand, didn't make as much noise on the run to the cup as he scored just two goals and six assists for 8 points. Despite having a worse season and playoffs of the two, Martin Natchez increases up to an 85 overall as Svechnikov remains at 86. Also, this was the final year of Svechnikov's entry-level deal, and in the offseason he re-signs with the Carolina Hurricanes on a 6-year deal worth $7.7 .7 million per year. After winning the cup, the Hurricanes followed up with a great regular season that sees them finishing 5th in the entire league and winning the Metro Division. Despite all this, the playoffs were a disappointment and saw them get swept by the Ottawa Senators in the first round. Andrei Svechnikov's regular season was a big one as he scored 37 goals and 55 assists for 92 points. Martin Natchez also improved from last year's regular season, as in this one he scored 20 goals and 35 assists for 55 points. In the disappointing playoff run, Natchez put up 2 goals and an assist for 3 points, and Svechnikov added just 2 assists. Svechnikov jumps up to a 90 overall, and Natchez increases up to an 87. Speaking of Natchez, his entry-level deal has now expired as well, and after this season, he also re-signs with the Hurricanes on a one-year $6.7 million deal. For the third straight year, the Hurricanes make the playoffs, this time after a 6th place finish and for the second straight year win the Metropolitan Division. The playoffs this year were much better to them and saw them go all the way back to the Stanley Cup Finals where they fell to Connor McDavid and the Edmonton Oilers in 5 games. This year saw Natchez with a breakout regular season as he scored 18 goals and 66 assists for 84 points in the regular season. Andrei Svechnikov took a step back in production from the year prior but still had a good season as he scored 27 goals and 51 assists for 78 points. In the playoffs, each player had similar runs. Svechnikov ended up with 10 goals and 10 assists for 20 points, and Natchez finished the playoffs with 7 goals and 10 assists for 17 points. Martin Natchez increases up to an 89 overall, and Svechnikov remains at 90. Natchez's contract once again expired this year, and he again re-signs with the Carolina Hurricanes, this time on a 7-year deal worth $9.8 million per year. 
The Carolina Hurricanes' regular season dominance continues as they finish first in the league and take home the President's Trophy. In the playoffs for the second time now, they are taken out in the first round after a finals appearance, this time to the Canadians in five games. Martin Natchez and Svechnikov led the Canes in points this season. Natchez put up 22 goals and 66 assists for 88 points, and Andrei Svechnikov scored 33 goals and 48 assists for 81 points. In the five-game playoff run, both Natchez and Svechnikov scored just one goal each, and with all this, Svechnikov remains at 90 overall once again, and Natchez increases up to a 90 overall as well. We didn't see Svechnikov or Natchez take home any hardware, but Jacob Marstrom did end up winning the Vezina for the Hurricanes this season. Carolina continues to still be a dominant team here in year number 5 as they finished 3rd in the NHL and for the 4th straight year win the Metropolitan Division. In the playoffs they made the Stanley Cup Finals for the 3rd time in 5 years and sadly came up just 1 game short to the San Jose Sharks. To make matters worse, Sebastian Ajo, who left the team in free agency the offseason prior, took home the Conn Smythe Trophy against his former team. Anyway, the regular season saw Andre Svechnikov and Martin Natchez finish just 1 point apart as they led the Hurricanes in points once again. Andre Svechnikov scored 37 goals and 44 assists for 81 points and Natchez had another great year with 21 goals and 59 assists for 80 points. In the finals run, Martin Natchez led the way for the Carolina Hurricanes with a big 30 points in 23 games, and Andre Svechnikov was not too far behind with 25 playoff points. Svechnikov again stays at 90 overall, and we do see Natchez decrease down to an 89. For the sixth straight season in this simulation, the Hurricanes make the playoffs, this time after finishing fifth in the league, and yup, you guessed it, after a finals appearance, lose in the first round. This year, the team to knock them out was the Penguins in seven games. This year's regular season saw Martin Natchez score 24 goals and 56 assists for 80 points, and Svechnikov scored 36 goals and 43 assists for 79. In this edition of the first round collapse, Natchez led the way with nine points in seven games, and Svechnikov had himself five points in seven games. Like always, Svechnikov remains at 90 overall, and Martin Natchez remains at an 89. Finally, we do see the Hurricanes come back down to earth a bit as they finish 10th in the NHL, but do make the playoffs once again. This year's playoffs are atrocious as they are swept in the first round by the New Jersey Devils and for the second straight year are eliminated in the first round. Like the team's record, Svechnikov and Natchez both took a bit of a step back in production. Natchez put up 27 goals and 42 assists for 69 points, and Svechnikov in just 75 games due to some injuries put up 31 goals and 30 assists for 61 points. In the four-game sweep, Martin Natchez scored a goal and an assist for two points, and Svechnikov had just one goal. Svechnikov still sits at 90 overall and Martin Natchez drops to an 88. Also, Andrei Svechnikov's contract did expire this year and in the offseason he signs another big deal with the Hurricanes that is 7 years long and worth $10.7 .7 million per year. The Carolina Hurricanes continue to decline as this year sees them finish 19th in the NHL and for the first time in this simulation, miss the Stanley Cup playoffs. Andrei Svechnikov's season again sees him not fully healthy as he played in just 77 games and in them scored 32 goals and 38 assists for 70 points. Martin Natchez's season saw him decline again in points as he put up just 17 goals and 43 assists for 60 points. Natchez remains at 88 overall and Andrei Svechnikov also stays put in overall again and stays at 90. The Carolina Hurricanes bounce back big time in year number 9, finishing 4th in the NHL and winning another Metro Division title. The playoffs were more of the same though and again sees them out in the first round, this time to the Washington Capitals in 7 games. In the regular season, Martin Natchez had a huge season setting his career high in goals and points with 40 goals and 58 assists for 98 points on the year. Andrei Svechnikov wasn't as fortunate as he only suited up for 64 games due to injury, but in the 64 he did play in, he was almost at a point per game with 21 goals and 38 assists for 59 points. In the playoffs, Martin Natchez continued to show up as he had 8 goals and 4 assists for 12 points and Svechnikov chipped in with 1 goal and 6 assists for 7 points in 7 games. Andrei Svechnikov remains at 90 overall, and Martin Natchez jumps up to a 91 overall heading into the last year of his current deal. So after a huge bounce back season the year before, the Hurricanes fell off once again and missed the playoffs as they finished 23rd in the NHL. In the last year of his current deal, Martin Natchez scored 17 goals and 56 assists for 71 points, and Andrei Svechnikov was finally able to remain healthy for the most part. In 81 games, he scored 38 goals and 33 assists for 71 points, and remains at 90 overall. Martin Natchez drops back down to an 89, and in the offseason re-signs with the Hurricanes on a massive 8-year deal worth $12.4 million per year. So, 10 years into the simulation now, and so far, Andre Svechnikov and Martin Natchez have had very good NHL careers so far. Martin Natchez has now played in 884 NHL games, and in them scored 241 goals and 529 assists for 770 career points so far. Andre Svechnikov has a few more games than him with 937, and in them has scored 373 goals and 465 assists for 838 career points. They are both Stanley Cup champions, and Andre Svechnikov has won Conn Smythe Trophy in his back pocket as well. Once again, great career so far, and now let's see how the rest of it plays out. 
The Canes continue to struggle in year number 11 as they again fall in the standings and finish 27th in the NHL. Despite how poor the Hurricanes finished the season, Natchez and Svechnikov did have pretty good seasons. Natchez finished his season with 31 goals and 39 assists for 70 points, and Svechnikov put up 23 goals and 42 assists for 65 points. Like always, Andrei Svechnikov remains at 90 overall, and we do see Natchez remain at 89. The sim engine continues to be all over the place as the Hurricanes jump back to third in the league in year number 12. In the playoffs, the Hurricanes did finally break through past the first round for the first time in a while, but once again fell in the Stanley Cup Finals, this time to the St. Louis Blues. Like the Canes, Natchez and Sveshnikov both had bounce back seasons. Martin Natchez had a big season, scoring 28 goals and 61 assists for 89 points, and Andre Sveshnikov was not too far behind with 87 points after scoring 38 goals and 49 assists. In the playoffs, Andre Sveshnikov led the Hurricanes with 26 points, and Natchez was right behind him with 23. Despite this good season, Natchez drops to an 87, but we do see Svechnikov increase up to a 91. The Hurricanes for the second straight year make the playoffs, this time in not as convincing fashion as they finish 14th in the league and sneak into the final playoff spot in the Eastern Conference. In the playoffs, they made it to the second round where they were eliminated by the Toronto Maple Leafs in seven games. The regular season saw Andrei Svechnikov play at a point per game pace as he scored 30 goals and 51 assists for 81 points in 81 games. Natchez also had a solid season where he put up 22 goals and 52 assists for 74 points. In the playoffs, Natchez put up 16 points in 14 games, and Svechnikov followed right behind again with point per game pace with 14 points points in 14 games. Svechnikov drops back down to a 90 overall and we do see Natchez drop again to an 86. The Carolina Hurricanes in year number 14 are on the outside looking in when it comes to the playoffs after finishing 20th in the league. In the last year of his current deal, Andrei Svechnikov scored 27 goals and 45 assists for 72 points on the year. Martin Natchez with a decent year as well, scoring 16 goals and 48 assists for 64 points. Natchez drops again to an 84, and Svech is now down to an 88. In the offseason though, he does sign another deal with the Carolina Hurricanes for four more years worth $12.1 million per year, and it looks like he will retire as a Carolina Hurricane. The Canes find themselves back in the playoffs in year number 15 after finishing 13th in the NHL and in the first round they matched up with the Washington Capitals and fell to them in 6 games. The regular season saw Sveshnikov with the better season of the two with 29 goals and 46 assists for 75 points. Martin Natchez had himself a 20 goal season along with 36 assists for 56 points. In the playoffs Natchez stepped up scoring 2 goals and 8 assists for 10 points in 6 games and Sveshnikov contributed 5 points in the playoff run. Sveshnikov drops to an 84 overall and Natchez also drops as well down to an 83. Carolina is back to mediocrity as they finish 26th in the NHL and obviously do not qualify for the playoffs. Martin Natchez's season saw him score 17 goals and 31 assists for 48 points, and Svechnikov put up 13 goals and 29 assists for 42 points. Svechnikov drops down to an 81, and Natchez falls all the way to a 76. Year 17 sees the two players on separate teams as Martin Natchez was sent to the minors. In the minors, Martin Natchez helped the Chicago Wolves finish 10th in the AHL and get all the way to the conference finals. His regular season saw him tear it up in the minors as he scored 39 goals and 44 assists for 83 points, and in the playoffs scored a goal and 4 assists for 5 points. With all this, he drops a lot once again and is now down to a 69 overall. Up in the NHL with Andrei Svechnikov, he helped the Carolina Hurricanes finish 2nd in the NHL and make it to the playoffs where they were upset in the first round by the New York Islanders. His regular season was very solid considering his age as he put up 14 goals and 37 assists for 51 points at age 37. In the playoffs, he added 2 assists and stays at 81 overall. In the offseason, Martin Natchez does decide to call it a career and retire. His career ends with him appearing in 1,372 NHL games, scoring 375 goals and 796 assists for 1,171 career points. He has won Stanley Cup and ends his career with the all-time assist lead for the Carolina Hurricanes franchise. Great career for Martin Natchez. In year number 18, the Hurricanes put together a solid regular season, finishing 11th and making it to the Stanley Cup playoffs. In them, they go all the way on to the Stanley Cup Finals and take out the Vegas Golden Knights in seven games to capture the Stanley Cup. Shane Roach ends up taking home the Conn Smythe, despite not showing up on the Hurricanes stat line anywhere. Anyway, two-time Stanley Cup champion now, Andrei Svechnikov scored 17 goals and 35 assists for 52 points in the regular season, and in the playoffs had two goals and 10 assists for 12 points. Svech drops to a 79 overall and decides to retire on top of the hockey world. 
So in 1,579 NHL games, Andrei Svechnikov scored 564 goals and 799 assists for 1,363 career points. He's a two-time Stanley Cup champion and took home the Conn Smythe in 2021. On top of all this, he ends his career as the all-time leader in games played, seasons, goals, assists, and points for the Hurricanes franchise. Hall of Fame career for sure for Andrei Svechnikov. So there you guys have it, the first double career simulation here on NHL 21. Let me know what you guys thought, and if you can, please leave a like as I used almost 7 hours of the 10 hour trial for the early access. Like I said, take this with a grain of salt as we obviously don't know what the rosters will look like at the start of the season. And again, Lafreniere, Byfield, Stutzel, Sims are on the way in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.